Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another Winter Dinners. We are starting this week out with one that Stephen is very excited about. It's been in the crock pot all day, so I'm gonna take you back in time to this morning when I put it in the crock pot, but tonight we are having pork carnitas. To get started, I have cut up my Boston butt. This is pork into smaller pieces. Now this does have the bone in it, so I will have to make sure I remove the bone tonight before we transfer this to the broiler, but that is here. This was about a four pounder. I'm also gonna add the onion that I diced. Now I've got some seasonings. I have one tablespoon of chipotle chili powder, and then two teaspoons of ground cumin, two teaspoons of oregano, and one teaspoon of salt. We're just gonna put that all over the top. Now I've got this orange. We are going to zest the orange completely over the top of this, and then we'll add the juice of the orange as well. And be careful not to get any seeds in here while I'm doing this. And lastly, we're gonna add this 12 ounce beer in here. This is just a blue moon. I'm just gonna pour this kind of slowly over the top. That's it, we're just gonna put the lid on this and it's gonna cook all day long on low. You know, I said on low, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it on high for a couple of hours first and then I'll switch it over to low because it's already lunchtime and if we did it on low, we would do it seven to eight hours. On high, it's for four hours. So we're gonna kind of split it between the two. Open that lid up, oh boy. Hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. Look at that. Um, yeah, that's exactly what we want. Wow. Talk about fall off the bone. Boom, baby. Mm-hmm. It's just falling apart. Mm-hmm. This is exactly what you want. I did trim this up this morning. There's still gonna be some fat in here just because it is what it is, but I got the larger pieces of fat off this morning when I was getting this together. What do you think about that? <laughs> okay, so now that we have shredded this up, we're gonna add just a little bit of the juice on top, and then this is going under the broiler for like five minutes. Show him every time, as soon as I pick up the camera, what do you do? I gotta do this. He has to fix his hair. Not that that makes much of a difference, <laughs> but. Every single time, it's you know, like clockwork. Right, I can't wait anymore. I gotta get into this okay. taco right. here. Do it to it. Oh man, that is really good. That pork is just incredible. The flavor that's in that pork. Yeah. That is outstanding. It was cooked in some orange juice and beer mm. and then all kinds of seasonings. Mm. I made mine into like a taco salad. Okay, what were you gonna say? Oh man, it's just really good. That salsa verde on top. Yeah. It's kind of a citrusy flavor Yeah. in that. Well, yeah, it also has orange juice in there too though. Mm -hmm. So. You might be getting it from that too. Maybe, yeah. But yeah, this is good. The juice just coming out of that thing. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna dig in. <laughs> she was not on winter dinners last week and I know a lot of you missed her. Gracie Lou. You say hello? Say so send cheese. Please. This is so tasty. 
I love the combination of the beer flavor and that orange zest and orange juice in there. Wow, very, very good. Okay, y'all, it is time for our second meal. Tonight I am making spinach and feta turkey burgers. And we are using some turkey that we got from ButcherBox and they are kindly sponsoring today's video. If you've been here for a while, then you know that we love ButcherBox. Nothing compares to the quality of meat that we get from ButcherBox. And I love sharing that with y'all. When I mention quality of meat, I'm talking about 100% grass-fed, pasture-raised beef, free-range USDA certified organic chicken, pork-raised crate-free, wild-caught seafood. They've got salmon, cod, scallops, haddock, and then we really love their butcher box bacon as well. It's sourced from humanely raised pork and it's uncured, nitrate free and sugar free. I mentioned that we love their bacon, but we also love their steaks. They're amazing. And when you cook them, you have no idea that at one point they were frozen. And that's because they are frozen at peak freshness. And then they are sent to your door on dry ice and you just pop them in your freezer and defrost them when you're ready to cook them. So how does butcher box work? First of all, they source from farmers and fishermen that meet the highest standards for quality. And by getting ButcherBox, you become a member, but you get to choose your box each time and the frequency in which it's delivered to your house. They offer five boxes, four curated boxes that they pick out, and then there's one custom box option, and that's the one that we usually go with. That way we can just kind of handpick exactly what we want, and we can do a good mixture of the different meats. I mentioned that it's sent to you on dry ice, but the box is 100% recyclable and you are getting that high quality meat sent directly to your door, which means you don't have to go out to the grocery store and hunt for particular cuts of meat and really not knowing where that meat is sourced from. ButcherBox believes in better. For them, it means treating our planet with respect. It means caring about the lives of animals and the livelihoods of farmers. And ultimately, it just means better meals enjoyed together. Because I'm working with ButcherBox, that means you guys are gonna get a great deal. If you've been thinking about ButcherBox, now is the time to join. Just use the link in my description box below. When you click that and become a new member of ButcherBox, then you are gonna get two pounds of grass-fed ground beef free in each box that you get for the lifetime of your membership. So thank you again to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. I love working with ButcherBox and I know that if you give ButcherBox a try, you're gonna love it too. So you could definitely do these turkey burgers outside on the grill, but it's very cold here right now because it's winter. So we're gonna do it inside on the cast iron skillet on the stove top. I want to mention to you, fun little story. Steven and I got very sick from turkey burgers a long time ago because we undercooked them. We did not check the temperature. We paid the price. So make sure that your burgers are done, that they reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit before you eat them. Believe me. We've got some fresh spinach here. I'm just gonna chop it. These are gonna go into the burgers. So let's mix together our ingredients. I've got a pound of ground turkey here. We're gonna add in our chopped spinach, some feta cheese crumbles. I'm gonna break these up a little bit and they'll probably get broken up as I'm mixing them. I'm adding just a little bit of breadcrumbs, some minced garlic, a dash or two of the dub sauce. Dub some more of that sauce in there. <laughs> We're gonna add some of this kicking chicken seasoning. I know this is not chicken, but we like the flavor of this. You want more? Girl. <sighs> okay, that's plenty. I'll let it slide this uh -huh. time. Oh no. Oh no what? I gotta. Oh yeah, you gotta do that. I'll do it. You'll do it? Goofy. <sighs> oh, yeah. You gotta get your hands all up in there. And not me. Hand yeah. singular. There you go. Okay. So it's just me and him today. So these are gonna be very large turkey burgers. I hope you're hungry. I came to eat. I came to I'm eat. I'm here for the food. <laughs> Trust me. You Have are. you seen me? <laughs> skillet here. We've heated it to about medium high and we were going to add 
some olive oil, and then we were gonna throw our burgers in. Negative. <laughs> but he discovered that I have bacon grease over there in the fridge, so he said, uh, we're cooking this in bacon grease. Yes, ma'am. We gonna hook it up. All right, let that melt down, and then we'll throw them in. While we're doing this, I've got my air fryer preheating so that we can cook our waffle fries in there. So pretty. I wish y'all could smell this. Look at these burgers. They're bigger than my head. I had originally planned on Cole eating with us, but he's not going to be here, so we just get ginormous burgers. Are you reaching out to me? What do you want? I don't think you would like feta cheese. You want some mozzarella cheese? I'm going to see if she likes feta. Let's give you a small piece. Okay, chill. Okay. Let's see. I was wrong. She likes it. Lou. Get it, girlfriend. I'm going to add a little bit of firecracker sea salt to our fries. Let's get some of this proper burger here. Big. <laughs> he got the bigger one. Falling apart. <laughs> he had to cut it in half. All right, let's just get into this before it falls any more apart here. Yeah. Here, here we go. There you go. There we go. There right, you go. go. All right. Man. Mmm. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. Yeah? Best ground turkey anything I've ever had. Really? Wow. Yeah, it's got, it's juicy. Yep. The uh, the feta cheese, definitely. I mean, you get just a little bit of that. It's mm -hmm. not overpowering. The spinach has a good touch to it. I love the, uh, the cucumber on top. It definitely freshens it up. Yes. Gives it that little bit of a crunch and yeah. lightens things up. I love that a lot. The bacon grease. I mean, Talking about a heavy hitter. Yeah. I mean, flavor upon flavor. That is just incredible. Tremendous flavor. Not much spice. I thought we were going to have a little bit more spice than we did. Yeah. Uh, but it's enough. Okay. You good. know what I mean? I am very impressed. I'm, so I'm not happy. usually a turkey burger type of person. Well, I mean, we had a bad experience with one, yeah. and it can be bland if you don't it season can be. it right. Yeah. This is this is done extremely well okay very good seasonings yes. all right well i've got to dig in now i mean i'm, I'm very happy for you but mm -hmm. i gotta try it mm. y'all if you've never had a turkey burger like this now is the time this is so good it doesn't taste like a turkey burger like mm -hmm. I, if i took a bite of this i would think it was a regular hamburger honestly absolutely it is so tasty wow mm. huge huge hit Okay, y'all, for our third recipe this week, our subby supper is actually a subby dessert. If you are new here, you're probably wondering, what is subby supper? Subby just stands for subscriber, and my subscribers send in a recipe that their family loves, and I go through those, I choose one to make each week, we test it, or we make it, and then we taste test it, and let y'all know what we think. Not only do we taste the recipe and try it, we also share a little bit about that particular subscriber, whatever they're comfortable with me sharing. So if you are interested in sending in a subby supper, you can email me at mandyinthemaking2018 at gmail.com. This week's subby supper dessert 
comes from Chris. I don't know a lot about Chris other than the fact that this particular dessert recipe is one that she like. She used to take to church get-togethers, and she said her pastor loved it. And it's called Baptist Pie. Now, when I did a Google search for Baptist Pie, there are lots of different versions of this. I saw one with mandarin oranges, which I'm really happy this one did not have that because I'm not a fan of mandarin oranges. But this one caught my eye, and you'll see why. If you've been here for a while, you know what one of my very favorite fruits is. And that's blueberries. This recipe actually makes two of these. So we're gonna keep one and I'm gonna gift one to someone else, but let's make it. It's no bake, I'm not the best baker, and it'll be ready in about an hour after being in the refrigerator. Let's get started. Okay, this is about as simple as it gets. I have a 21 ounce can of blueberry pie filling. Now we need crushed pineapple. I did drain this and the recipe says for a 15 ounce or a 15.25 ounce can. This is a 20 ounce can, so I won't use quite all of it. And a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now let's just mix all of this together. Well, if that's not pretty, it's not blue, it's purple. Now I've got two nine inch pie crusts. These are the graham cracker crusts. And I'm going to just separate this bowl into each crust. Now on top of that, we're gonna add Cool Whip or whipped topping. I've got a 16 ounce tub here. We'll just put half on each. I didn't quite use the entire container. I feel like this is pretty good. Now I'm just gonna pop the lid on these and stick them in the fridge and they're just gonna refrigerate for one hour and then they'll be ready. seen yet. They gotta see it. Okay, they see it. Look at that. Do you want a slice too or do you want to eat some of mine? Do I look like I want a slice? Mmm. Mm. The crust with the blueberry. It's blueberry cake filling or pie filling. Mm. Pineapple. Okay. And sweetened condensed milk. That's it. Mm. Three ingredients. Mmm. Man. It's really good. It is good. It's very light. Mm-hmm. I was scared it was gonna be really too light. sweet, yeah. but it's not. Yeah, it's got that citrusy. Just a yeah. Tad bit of tartness, but not mm -hmm. much. Just enough to, I guess, lift up the yeah. berries. You know. Yeah. Now, mm. it has a big layer or a thick layer of Cool Whip on top. I took some of that off just because personal preference. But man, mm. that's good. Mm -hmm. You're already done. Huh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna step away from the pie. Thank you, Chris, for sending this over. That is delicious. And I can see why you would take it to like church functions. This is a crowd pleaser. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's tart, but not too tart. It's perfect. That's gonna do it for this week's winter dinners. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Y'all, these meals were so good. Well, the two meals and the dessert. All three were delicious. I hope you'll give them a try. Don't forget to go check out ButcherBox. I've got them linked in the description box below. Remember, if you join and become a new member today, you are gonna get two pounds of grass-fed ground beef in your box each time you get a box for the lifetime of your membership. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Hit that red subscribe button before you leave. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Meep, 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 meep. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. We're starting this out. But tonight we are having pork carnitas. Mm. <laughs> Even the oven was excited about that. It's out of the shot. Where are my glasses? Now I can see.